Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand. Uh, you guys, I notice YouTube puts commercials on the videos anyway, but until I have a thousand subscribers, it doesn't do me any good. There's, it's just commercials. So anyway, so Aeropostle fragrances that I got at Burlington and Ross. I got these two at Burlington, this one at Ross, the two at Burlington were both $5.99. Uh, what a great deal. Six bucks. I mean, and then the one at Ross, I don't have the price tags in that box, but I'm pretty sure it was about the same price. I actually really enjoy all three of these. So today I have the Velvet Romance. Pretty purple shoes. Really nice. And then I also have from Burlington for $5.99. The Endless Wonder, pretty little bottle. Oops. I'll show it again in just a second when I go over it. And then from the Ross, the Promise Me. The kind of like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's clear with a little light blue, sort of barely blue um, tinge to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, I am dressed kind of crazy. Um, I said in another video. This is my uh, my get up to be an extra in an apocalypse uh, zombie movie. So I'm looking like raggedy, these are like second hand raggedy boots. And anyway, so back to this. I really enjoy all three of these. And another thing that I like about these sizes is that like you could take these on the plane, you know, because they're, it's only two fluid ounces. So um, you can get by with taking this on the plane when you travel. I really like that. So starting with the, the Velvet Romance, Air Apostle, basic little bottle, pretty purple juice. I really enjoy this one. It's really nice. Velvet Romance is a perfect name for it. Also, let me say, these are feminine marketed fragrances, but this one in particular, the Promise Me, is unisex for sure. It leans feminine, but it's unisex. These are definitely um, feminine. Man, I look rough. Anyways, um, let me go back over to this. The the Velvet Romance, I thought that I heard um, or read on some sites people begging for Air Apostle to bring this back because they love, love, love it. And they said it was discontinued. However, when I look at the Air Apostle website, I see it on here selling for like 24, 25 bucks or something. But it just says out of stock. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's not discontinued if it's actually on their site. It just says out of stock on their site. So, um, the notes in this one, and I'm reading from the Air Apostle website. Let me just read what it says. Two fluid ounces. It says, when you're feeling flirtatious, spritz on a little of our velvet romance fragrance before you meet up with your crush. This gorgeous scent opens with top notes of vibrant mandarin and neroli, while the heart blossoms with orchid, heliotrope, heliotrope, and violet florals, bringing a fresh and feminine vibe. Base notes of smooth amber, sweet praline, and sandalwood give it a warm, addictive finish. Yes, you could totally wear this to go meet your crush, no matter what your age is. It's definitely feminine, soft, pretty but still flirty and I think it has like a romantic vibe to it with this purple juice in the name. I've been spraying this at night on myself and like after the shower. Um, a lot of my fragrances I gift to others, but this one I will definitely keep for myself. I really enjoy it, but I spray it at night. Now, I sleep alone. I'm a single person, but if if I were with somebody, I would just love to put this on at bedtime. Like my mental image is just like, you know, nice, beautiful, clean, comfy sheets and comforter and getting close and being very pretty. Um, I can see why they say, like I said, wear this with your crush, but I'm also like on a pretty this could be worn any time, but like, I think like on a pretty fall day, but it's fall right now. It's like the first day of fall or second day of fall. So that may be why it's in my mind. This is just very pretty. It is soft. It's feminine. It is flirtatious as they say, but it's something dreamy about it. And I guess it's the dreamy notes of like orchid 
and violets. Um, it's really, it's got that dreamy kind of fantasy uh, romantic vibe to it. I really enjoy this one for $5.99. What a great buy. I will spray this. I may, I think I'm going out of town again. I'm in South Carolina. I may be over in Georgia, Southern Georgia and uh, visiting a friend. I may take this one. But I also, moving along, I also, with a totally different vibe, really love this Endless Wonder. I really enjoy this. Um, I wish this one lasted longer. It's okay. I mean, but you do have to reapply, especially to get this really sexy, pretty uh, initial burst that it has. Um, Endless Wonder. Here's the box again. I should be in a better lit room, or at least with the light facing me. But I'm just enjoying sitting in here. Um, Endless Wonder. You got it. And it says Arapaso on the top, which I don't know if you can see. Pretty nice warm, that, uh, what do you call that, rose gold kind of color, almost that color. Oh, this is really pretty. Now, on Fragrantica, I should have just pulled this up on, um, on Arapaso's site as well, but I pulled it up on Fragrantica, you know, just to see what people say. Uh, now, this says Floral Fruity that came out in 2018. I, and then something else said Fruity Woody. And it is floral, but I find it more Fruity Woody. But it, or, the fruit's not bigger than the floral, but I really like Fruity Woody combinations. Oh, it says, okay. So it says Floral Fruity, and I want to add the woodiness. I like, like, Fruity Woody, so... Um, this is really pretty, and it reminds me of something, and I cannot place what it reminds me of. I mean, let me look at what other people say. First of all, okay, well, there you go. Some people say, um, some people, or one person actually put Kirkate, which is one of my total favorites by Tiziana Terenzi, and I layer it with so many things. I could see how they would say that with the Fruity Woody. But I would not smell this and say Kirke. <laughs> Kirke is a powerhouse, you know. This is more floral than that and less complex, of course, and certainly not as long lasting as Kirke. But I could see how somebody else might make the fruity woody connection, but barely. Uh, and then somebody else has, I think this is this flower bomb they have. No, Bombshell, I'm sorry, Flower Bomb. Bombshell by Victoria's Secrets. Kinda, sorta, kinda, sorta. Yeah, um, I can see that some. As a matter of fact, I have Bombshell spray or mist in my room. I should pause it and go pull it out. But just off the top of my head, I can see some similarities to that if it helps you. Something about this gives me, now it does not smell dated but at all, you know, this is whatever I said, what, um, what was it, 2018? Ah, go back, journey. Yeah, 2018. But something about this kind of gives me like uh, 90s, early 2000s, no, not even that, 90s vibes. Just in the sense that, I don't know, there were some good fruity, woody fragrances in the 90s that I liked, um, just in my mind anyway. But I can't place the similarity. But yes, I could see the um, bombshell similarity for sure. Um, so endless wonder if that helps you. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's very pretty. So like the bottle and everything. Uh, so, <clears throat> and of course people are saying that this is good for spring, summer, fall. Uh, some people said winter. But uh, people have day and night. I really think this is kind of an anytime. I really enjoy it. Um, this is probably a little more forward, uh, heavier fragrance than like this. This is definitely that romantic, um, flirty. This is a little denser. Just a little. It's not a dense, dense fragrance. but So the top notes are pomegranate, pear, grapefruit, middle notes of Peony, passion flower, and base notes of musk, white woods, and amber. 
and the main accords are fruity, woody. So there you go. I was saying, I was thinking more fruity, woody. Uh, floral, fresh, sweet, musky, fresh, spicy, citrus, rose, and powdery. That powdery is on the bottom because this is not an overly powdery fragrance, but yeah, yeah, that's really pretty. It is fresh. I mean, uh, Fragrantica doesn't always get it right, but I would say they hit it pretty right on with their list of main accords. Fruity, woody, floral, fresh, sweet, musky, fresh, spicy. Uh, so there's that fresh again, citrus, rose, and powdery. Yeah, it's a fruit. That's it. I mean, it does have a freshness to it. So yeah, I could see definitely again. I could see uh, the bombshell. How somebody voted a similarity there. Certainly more like bombshell than like Kirke. Definitely more like bombshell. Yeah, I'm seeing it more and more now that I just sprayed it. So that's endless wonder. Again, I really like all these. Um, no, they're not long lasting and they're not like powerhouse projectors or anything, but they certainly are, are pretty. Now, the Promise Me that I got at Ross, uh, guys and girls, this is feminine leaning, but certainly unisex. This is a fresh one, Promise Me. I wish you could see, there's kind of like a little tiny bit of a blue tint to the juice, just a little. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And this is fresh, but this is a tea fragrance. If you like that fresh tea type fragrance, so let me pull this up. Um, the Promise Me. Now this one came out in 2014, and I feel like this, this could be used in a lot of ways. I mean, people always say if it's just something inexpensive and fresh that you're just gonna use it for like after the shower, going to bed, or at the gym. Uh, yeah, you could, but not so. This could, is pretty anytime. Um, I could definitely see, definitely see women wearing it um, at any age because it's just that pleasant. But it can also see males or, uh, you know, male identifying people wearing it. Now, the notes that Fragrantica has listed is just white tea, gardenia, and apple. And it says it's a fl floral, fruity fragrance, obviously good for warm weather and daytime but could be layered with other things, certainly, because it's just that light. Um, it's got a lot of loves. So a lot of people really like this. Uh, very few dislikes. Main Accords are green, white floral, fresh, fruity, like tonic, and fresh spicy. So let me just, this is like very pleasant, so. Yes. Very, very pleasant green. And I can, there is a bit of the like tonic, just ever so slightly. Yeah. Green, white floral, fresh. And just a little bit spicy. This is really nice. Um, totally inoffensive. Could wear this in the office or someplace where um, strong fragrances aren't really appropriate. This could be definitely worn in an office or in like mixed company. Now, some people say that it reminds them of the Prince fragrance, which I have never tried, but six people gave thumbs up for that, but four gave thumbs down for that. Um, wait a minute. So, I mean, it longevity is moderate, sillage moderate, but it's light, it's a light fragrance. And what else did people really, I was looking for the pros and cons. Why isn't it coming up? Now there's a guy on Fragrantica, it says male. He says, even though this is a quote, woman's, it leans unisex to me and I agree. And so do so many others, they voted uh, unisex. It says, I love simple unisex and feminine fragrances. I use them to layer and tone down my more manly smells when they need to be softer. This is great for my sharper blue greens like JD Artisan, woo. XX or even a basic green like Tom Ford or Ralph's Club. Uh, since I have to smell myself the most, I don't want to smell overly masculine smells. Initially, this has a standard blue scent that is slightly feminine. On me, however, it subtly develops a smokiness, which I guess may be the tea. That's just, you know, just one person talking in Fragrantica, one guy. Oh, this, this does have aquatic vibes, so... This is really, this would be nice on anybody. Really, it would be. Um, 
some people say it's a shark green tea. I don't think it's shark green tea. Maybe they're getting the apple note, which could be very crisp, obviously. Um, this just has a lot of legs. I feel like that pretty much uh, sums it up. It's it's that green, spicy, fresh, kind of aquatic tea. Um, unisex, but a, more a little more feminine, but unisex. Fresh fragrance, but just just the tiniest bit like tonic or creamy, just the tiniest bit. So, I mean, it's really nice. I hope that helps you. I really like all of these. You know, I'm thinking this for summer, but sometimes I just really like to spray these more summery, warm, spring, summer type fragrances in the winter because I just feel like they can be more attention catching. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> in the winter time or cooler months, I wouldn't say fall, but maybe in the cold, cold, icy winter, this might even be nice. Um, these two definitely anytime. And like I said, these little like five ninety nine, you could just spray away. If this one really is discontinued, that would make me sad. I, I really, really am fond of this. And to be honest, this um, Velvet Romance, I think I said when I did a video just on this one. I had sprayed this on my pillow and I could smell this on my pillow the next day. I, I really like this in the bedroom and I'm going to try wearing it. Um, it says to wear around your crush. I don't have just one crush, but I will try to wear it around dates, people that I know. <laughs> anyway, um, if you've tried these, if you have any comment on your likes or dislikes of them or what they remind you of or the projection, the longevity, whatever. Please comment and share that for other people to look at and know about when they're researching what they want to buy or gift someone, for example. And also, as I said, I'm looking grimy. I am going to be an extra in this really cool um, um, zombie apocalypse movie. Started out as YouTube, but it will be a movie, a full length movie, and you can look it up. Uh, and be on the lookout for it coming out and it will be Apocalypse, I mean, I'm sorry, Isolation on the Run. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm about to do one more video on inexpensive fragrances that I do not like nearly as much as these. I, I really enjoy these. These others that I'm about to review are okay, but I, you know, they're, they're not going to be reaches for me. So I hope you all are doing great, whether it's morning, daytime, or in the middle of the night. I hope it's going well for you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.